Colin Branch from McLaren Racing. With the release of our new DRK speed control, uh, we want to show you how to turn them on, calibrate, and do setup on the programming. And through this video, we will show you how to do, do that. Okay, so there's two ways to power up your speed control. One is with the included switch, and if you unplug the included switch, it will turn on and off just by plugging in your battery. Be aware of your positive and negative terminals and get them wired correctly. Now we're gonna show you how to do calibration on your new speed control, which needs to be done initially when you buy it, and then anytime you update your firmware, you're gonna to wanna to do a calibration as well. So first thing, you're gonna have your battery plugged in, then you're going to turn on your radio, which is set up to your receiver already. So you are going to hold full brake before you turn on the speed control. So we're gonna go through this. Let's turn this on. There, now it's telling you it's going to calibrate, so you're still holding full brake until you hear that second tone, and then you go full throttle and hold it until you hear the three beeps, and then you go to neutral position. And there's the speed control telling you that it's booting up. And there it is, fully calibrated. Okay, now I'm gonna show you how to connect three different ways to your McLan speed control. First, I'm gonna show you the panel PC software on your PC that's available on the McLan Racing website. So you're gonna have it loaded on your PC. You're gonna plug into the USB cable into your computer. Then you are going to turn on your speed control with a battery connected. And then you are gonna plug in the micro USB to your speed control. And there you can see it's connected now on the, P the panel software. And then you're gonna click ESC setup. And there you go, you've got all your adjustments and everything right there, easy to do. So next, we're gonna go on to the Android device. So you can get the app on the Google Play Store. You will need an OTG cable for most Samsung devices. If it has a USB-C, you will not need a OTG cable. So, you're gonna plug your OTG cable into the supplied cable that comes with your speed control. And then, it's very important, the OTG end goes into your Android device. And then, we're going to open our smart link on the panel. So, there it is, it's opened. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna turn on our speed control. And then we are going to plug in the micro USB. And boom, it asks you to connect to the USB device. You hit okay. And now you're connected. You've got all your programming. You've got data logging. And there you go. That's how you do it on an Android device. So we're gonna turn this off. Next, we are going to go to your ProLink. Now for the DRK speed controls, you are going to use the USB cable. You do need to use the OTG cable. However, this is going to be a little opposite of the Android device where you are going to plug in the USB cable to your SmartLink device, not SmartLink, ProLink device. You're going to turn on your speed control and the OTG end goes into the USB, micro USB on the speed control. There we go and it's asking for you to connect. There you go. ESC settings, it's waiting, there we go. DRK160, and you can change your settings, your profiles, whatever you want right here in your 
ProLink. Just remember to hit save before you back out after making changes. So that is how you connect and make changes on all three different devices. Very easy, very simple to do. Remember the OTG cable for certain devices and which order they go in. So there you have it. A little info on how to access and make changes and turn on your new DRK speed control. We will do another video explaining how the software actually works with the three stages and uh, you'll be able to see that one separately. But I hope this helps and please visit the website, visit our Facebook page, check it all out, come see us and uh, we'll talk to you later.